folks and welcome to Art Tips with John, a show that teaches you how to build your business and also improve your artwork. Well hi folks and how are we doing today? Hoping you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world today. One of the most popular questions that I get asked is, John, how much should I price my artwork for? Now that answer really depends on who you are, how much you're spending and what you're doing, but I'm going to try and break it down into four simple steps for you. The first thing that you need to think about is the size of your artwork. If it's a painting of this size, for example, it's going to be much, much more expensive than a painting of this size. Now the reason that is obviously because the bigger something is, the more quality and the more materials and the more cost has been put into putting it together. So that's something you need to think about is how much time it has taken you to actually paint this painting, okay? The second thing you need to think about is how much does it cost to put it together? The third thing I want you to think about is actually how much of a demand are you in? Now what I mean by that is have you been painting for a long time or are you just starting out? If you're just starting out it's highly unlikely that someone is going to pay you £750 for a painting. However, I'm not saying it wouldn't happen but it's highly unlikely. What I tend to find is that the best way to actually do this is to start off on a lower end of the scale. So if you're starting with a 10 by 12 painting that you've put together, someone's offering you £50 for it. That's a good place to start. If you want to actually have a formula in order to actually think about a little bit more on how you should be pricing your work, what I want you to think about again is your time, the expense you've put into it, how much in demand you are, how many people are asking for your work, how many people are wanting to buy your work or commission you to do something. And finally, what kind of painting is it? Some paintings obviously are going to hold more of a value than other paintings. For example, my nighttime scenes tend to hold more of a value because again of the quality of the artwork, of what we put together, of the brand that we've built up of it over the years. There are going to be other paintings that I've done that maybe hold less of a value because maybe it was a quicker painting or it was just a subject that I want to explore. There's lots of different reasons as to why a painting is priced higher than others, but it's also the value that you place on it as well. So those are the four things to think about. How much time you have put into it, how much cost. So what I mean by this is think about your materials, your canvas, your paint brushes, your paint, your turpentine if you're using oil paint or uh, water, obviously if you're using uh, acrylic. Um, and then I want you to think about how much in demand you are in and then obviously what kind of painting it is that you've done. When you've got all these things listed out and you've got all your expenses, what I want you to do then is to decide, right, am I paying myself minimum wage? I'm gonna pay myself slightly higher, okay? Sometimes I'll be around 100 pounds an hour, depending on the painting that I'm doing, okay? Um, that's after 14 years of doing this, okay? So that's where I can charge what I charge. The final thing then to think about is when you've got all your figures there, what I encourage people to do is then double it. So if your expenditure is, you know, £60 and you're paying yourself, you know, £10 an hour, say, I want you to then get to your final figure and if it's taking you five hours to do this painting, that's 50 quid um, that you have, you know, time-wise that you've invested, I want you to then double it. Okay, so what you want to be charging is £100, obviously, and then your expenses on top. Well guys, I hope this helped and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Art Tips with John. Please do feel free as always to like, share and subscribe and if you've got any questions please stick them in the box below and I will try my very best to get to each and every single one of them. As always I've been your host John Morris and I look forward to seeing you right here again on YouTube next Tuesday. Check out johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com for all our latest news, hints, tips, tricks, blogs, you name it, products as well. And until next time, take care, God bless, have an awesome week.